class 9 today we are going to start with the topic descriptive paragraph so as the name indicates that this is descriptive it means it is describing in its nature okay describing and this paragraph okay it is for how it is written it is written in the form of a paragraph okay so it means that only one paragraph has to be written okay one paragraph has to be written and in your syllabus it is only of person Okay, it is only of person. So now, what are the main things that you will include? You will include first of all the heading or the title, because nothing comes in English without heading or title. Because if you are not writing a heading or title, how the person will come to know that what you are writing, right? So for that purpose, you are always writing a heading or title for uh, for uh, for descriptive paragraph, right? Okay. Then afterwards. then you will start with the topic sentence i told you that topic sentence it is first one or two lines they always encapsulates the main idea okay it always encapsulates the main idea okay what we are going to write that is paragraph okay this is very much uh, you can say it is very much wheels from this you can say topic sentence only right so topic sentence it reveals that what we are going to write otherwise it is not only here but otherwise in our other paragraphs also that whenever you read any passage either the first two lines or the last two three lines they are encapsulating the main idea okay suppose when the question is there suppose uh, what theme this you can say this passage it is enclosing so read the first two lines of each paragraph okay when you read these first two lines it always encapsulates it always you can say it is enclosed in these two lines and next afterwards whatever the next lines are written they are always the supporting ones okay they are supporting either in the form of examples in the form of facts in the form of statistics then it will be uh, only it will be supporting those details okay so topic sentence you will start uh with an introduction start with an introduction in a bit of dramatic way dramatic way you will not say that dramatic like so much of exaggeration right no little bit of you can say something you can say showy language okay you will use okay and but this dramatic uh it is not you can say it is not you can say analogous to that of the dramat uh, the dramatization that you are using in story no it's not of that way okay but you will introduce in a very you can say elaborative or you can say uh, expressive language okay attractive language okay you can give a reference the reference to a person who is famous okay you can also give a reference to a person who is famous for example if you are writing about a, about your dad okay if you see a person clad in or if you person clad uh, in his you can say in his uh, office going dress or person well dressed civilized person okay and resembles the looks of so and so suppose abraham lincoln okay so then it means that you are giving an image of abraham lincoln and what it means that you are creating an image in the mind of the reader okay so that it will help the reader to understand that what kind of personality it is okay so reference to a famous person you will give okay and give detail of his profession what he used to do okay then afterwards you will write down then you will write down the supporting details supporting details supporting details means now the middle of this descriptive paragraph the middle part it is always you can say in closing it is always carrying or it is always delivering the supporting details what are his hobbies what he is doing what extra things he is uh, indulging in okay so you will give the supporting details in order to completely describe about the person right and then afterwards you will conclude
in concluding lines one you will write down in case of concluding lines you will write down uh, comment comment about his or her personality that what you think about that person or what others think of that person okay so what it contains it contains a comment your opinion okay your view point about that person that will be included here okay yeah. so there are three main points that you will keep in mind first of all topic sentence supporting details as well as the concluding paragraph okay so what kind of language grammatically correct language not too much talk okay it must be easy to understand so that the reader can easily understand what you are going to write here okay so this is all for descriptive paragraph so if i will say in the diagrammatic form we will express it how you will write down now let us see descriptive paragraph so first of all what it will contain topic sentence a heading you can write down okay heading okay then topic sentence then afterwards you will write down supporting details supporting details about his age about his looks okay this you will write down then again yes reference so that you can give it here then again support your ideas how you will support your ideas okay by giving some more details which details now about his hobbies profession earnings you will write down okay daily routine you will also mention daily routine you will give and then finally you will conclude how you will conclude you will give a comment comment about the personality of the person okay what you feel what others feel okay you will write down this type of comment about the personality of the person so right i hope that now descriptive paragraph is clear to you okay any doubt here if you have any doubt you can ask me that's fine that's all fine and on that side okay so after that now let me ask some of the mcqs as today is the last day of the class give one book be high bar uh, moments to me anyone you have grammar books okay let me ask from or otherwise let me ask for example from the kingdom of fools okay from the king thank you okay i'm going to ask short questions let us revive revise bhai book so what marchi has written in her diary what marchi has written in her diary what is the meaning of real book here it is a real book means one can touch it okay and one can open up the pages move the pages because otherwise from where they were learning what was the mode of learning in case of marchi and Tommy, they were learning from tally books. Okay, right. So, on which date she has made the diary entry? It is seventeen May to twenty one fifty seven. Twenty one fifty seven. Okay. So, now, why they found the book to be strange? because it was an actual book they were surprised to see that the pages were yes pages were crinkled okay they have turned out to be crinkly and they were 
they have turned yellow because of the passage of time due to the effect of moisture and uh, uh, air okay and what was the feeling of marji when she saw that book what was the feeling of marji when she saw that book how she felt yes they were surprised to see that book okay because in their entire you can say till student life they haven't seen this kind of book okay so why did marji hate the schools why did marji hate the schools okay she hates school because she okay if i will give the options then choose why what did marji hate school because she was not doing pretty well or she was not doing well in her geography class or uh, she is um she is not able to discuss her homework with anybody or she is uh, she has no enjoyment in the class so what is the most appropriate reason homework okay main thing is that okay she is not doing that and geography one it is coming afterwards okay that she is not doing well right so sometimes you will find that all the three options are correct but you have to choose the best one okay but the fourth one is only correct right so now next one is a man with round dials and red face who was he he was county inspector so what was the main job of county inspector mal functioning to fix the mal functioning of of the of tally uh, of the mechanical teacher okay why uh, marji's teacher was called as mechanical teacher why it was called as mechanical teacher okay and this question i have asked in exam uh, test also it was content friendly student friendly teacher friendly it was content friendly okay and how the homework is submitted how the homework in a punch code okay and the special slot is also provided to submit the homework okay what was the reason of marji's poor performance in her geography lessons yes because it has geared up to it has geared up to an uh, to uh, higher level and it was not you can say it was not at pace with her age okay it was not at par with her age actually okay so what is the meaning of geared up one minute ayan will tell yes what is the meaning of ayan geared up geared up moving very fast increased in its speed what it means out of these two yes increased in its speed okay it was displaying the lessons at very fast speed sit down both of you so each and sit down each and every meaning you should also know okay because anything can be asked any phrase or anything else can be asked right so what was the reason of marji's mother to be worried why she was worried because uh, she was worried because of marji's poor performance in her geography lessons then what she decided whom she should call she uh, called for county inspector county inspector was amiable in nature towards children how you come to know how you come to know that he was amiable in his nature yes gave her an apple and what he said that there is no need to worry because it was not her fault but actually whose fault it was it was that of the mechanical teacher now what contrast is made by tommy about the type of school they are going in and about the old type of schools which is mentioned in the story student first of all go to a special building called school same a studies together and same material they were studying 
they can discuss their work they can discuss their homework they were studying from human teacher what does human teacher uh, employ here what is human teacher yes what does sidam what's all what is human teacher she is studying from a human teacher but what it means human teacher yes interaction a real person actually okay real person okay but why marji she despised the idea of learning from a human teacher why she did not like that idea she would not be smart enough yes she thought that she that the human teacher could not be smart enough moreover he she also thought that she would not allow any stranger to enter her house okay this is the reason what is the meaning of non chillently without enthusiasm or without any interest okay so these type of questions can also be asked coming up to the next chapters so, okay road not taken yes road not taken where was the poet standing he was standing on a fork road where he was standing on a fork road where the two roads diverged from in the yellow wood what does yellow wood sim, uh, sim, uh, symbolize here uh, aged people experienced people and moreover this is also wood means autumn season also and autumn season means when the season when uh, trees they are shedding their leaves shedding their leaves means they are full of experience okay now they have turned out to be mature and it bent in an undergrowth what it means it bent what bent in an undergrowth the road bent in an undergrowth and what it means bent in an undergrowth he could not see the concept but what it means it bent in an undergrowth means he could see the uh, he would be able to see the uh, growth of the trees or bushes and trees as far as his eye could reach okay so this is uh, it means this why the traveler stood at the uh, at the end of the fork road why he stood at the end of the fork road he was in dilemma he was thinking which road he should choose or he should take finally which road was taken by the poet the less traveled by why he has taken the road which was less traveled by because he thought it won't it won't no why he thought he thought because he was adventurous in nature okay he thought that this road is less traveled by people he thought that not much people they have traveled this road so he thought that i should follow this road and i should maybe this road it would be a you can say uh, it would produce or it would lead to good consequences for him this is the reason why he thought so next why the other road was grassy not passed because man many people they have not passed through that road and what is the meaning what is the literary device used in wanted beer alliteration and if suppose alliteration option is not given then personification. personification this is an example of personification wanted we are what it means that the roads were not traveled it needs to be traveled okay if that no one has traveled upon this so this road needs to be traveled upon right but when the poet he has traveled that less traveled road what he has come to realize what he has come to realize what he has realized after traveling on that road that it was also traveled by it is it has also worn about the same as the previous road because earlier he was thinking that it was not traveled by but when he has traveled upon that road he has come to know that this road is equally traveled by other people 
and how he has come to know he has come to know about this when he has traveled upon that road okay so the next is no step had trodden black what it means that the leaves they have not turned black because nobody has set its foot upon it what shows the incapability of the poet to come to the first road again why he was not able to come to the first road again life would not give a second chance to make uh, decisions again and moreover uh, the thing is that that the, when a person is traveling upon that road one way it leads to another okay one way it leads to another it is because of this reason this shows his incapability to come back and travel the first road again okay why he kept the first road for some other day no he no this is not the answer because he thought that he would get a chance to come back to the first road but is life giving a second chance to come back to take decisions again no we won't get okay what does this what does road simply symbolize decisions of life okay it symbolizes decisions of life why the poet is telling this with a sigh why he was telling this with a sigh yes no 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 he was not lucky the thing is that this sigh it we cannot infer and it is nowhere mentioned whether the poet is happy with the decision or he is sad okay yes whatever whatever the change has been made in his life it is just because of the decision that he has made okay so this is the reason why he was telling this with a sigh after so many years okay he was telling about his decision that whatever decision he has made it has completely brought about a change in his life okay right so what lesson we have learned finally from this poem decision making is an important part of life make wise decisions take your time and make good decisions okay next coming up to evelyn glanny the sound of music where was evelyn glanny standing nervous on the railway platform where she was going which train she is going to board she is going to royal academy of music why she had mixture of feelings or she has you can say number of feelings at that time she was both nervous and she was excited or if i will ask what kind of feelings she was having she was nervous she was surprised she was excited or suppose five six options like in this manner suppose it is given these type of questions can also be there suppose um uh, what question i am not writing that what kind of feeling she was having suppose one is surprised excited nervous dedicated full of energy and a option will be 1 or 1 and 5 so which is a 2 and 3 so this will be the right answer so these type of questions can also be there that are just creating a confusion among you people okay it is going to create a confusion you people will feel yes she was dedicated she was full of energy also okay so you should know whatever it is written in the chapter and accordingly you have to make your choice of the answer 2 3 no she was not full of energy she was not full of energy it was not at all mentioned in the chapter okay next is at what age she was she has turned out to be deaf eight and eight years okay and when it was confirmed at the age of 11 years who has confirmed it specialist 
a specialist okay who was the first one to notice it her mother okay you won't say that her, that his teacher okay it is her mother which person played an important role in bringing about the potential of it was ron fox okay it was ron fox okay so now the uh, time is going to be over okay so that's all for today and i hope that enough revision has been done in the class and uh, if you have any doubt during the exam during the exam is before the exam not during the exam while you are taking okay you are free to call me you are free to ask your doubts okay and uh, any doubt in syllabus that's fine everything is fine so now that's all for today uh, i wish you best of luck okay and uh, do well okay and never rely upon the options chosen by others because you people have less faith in yourself and more faith in others okay change your this attitude have more faith in your decisions and less faith in others okay only then you will be able to succeed okay my blessings my good wishes are always with you okay so that's all for today and do well in your exams thank you